Welcome back to the shop. Let's jump right into this one. Jim Enos of Tangent Engineering sent me one of his milling machine quill wheels. Before we install it on the milling machine, let's take a look at this thing. It's got a nice molded urethane outer cover. It's oil and grease resistant and it has a nice matte finish for a nice gripping surface here. Feels good in the hand. The wheel itself from center hub to outer is a little under seven inches, a little under 14 inches overall. Looks like it has three pins of engagement here on this rear hub. This rear hub is three and a quarter inches in diameter and about an inch and three quarter deep. And it looks like it's made of uh, Delrin or some sort of hard plastic. It uh, looks very durable and pretty rigid. Quick release uh, set screw with a wing nut on it here. Uh, if we take a look at the center hub here, we'll see the model number that fits my mill, which is CL4. Jim's phone number's on here, and also the website. If you notice, there's also a QR reading code here. So if you have a QR reader, click on this bad boy and it takes you right to quillwheel.com. So let's compare this to my current quill handle. As you can see, the radius is much smaller. This is probably about nine inches. Yeah, this is nine inches from center hub to outer ball. And this only has one pin of engagement, which personally I never liked. So I really like the fact that this has three pins of engagement. So let's take this over to the mill now and compare it to my existing quill handle. We're over here at the Mighty Web Champ. So for comparison, this is my old quill handle. So basically, for you to swing this around out of the way, it's got a bearing in here that rides on uh, two recesses on the, bear on the quill hub. So basically what you'd have to do is like lock it in, use your quill handle, then when you run out of quill angle, uh, you just pull it back and reposition it and lock it back in and then go to town again. So with the Tangent Engineering quill wheel, you just pop it on, lock in your engagement pins, and cinch down the set screw and you're off to the races man one thing i really like about this is i just noticed when i tightened up this set screw it pulled that hub into the quill hub i like that so it's nice and rigid uh feels pretty durable uh, one thing i really like about this right off the bat is i could grab one of the spokes of the wheel and give it a good honk and bear down on the drill bit Not too bad, I'm, I'm liking it. Uh, one good thing, if the, if the wheel gets in the way of a setup that you have here, look how easy it is to remove. Bam, put your old quill handle right back on. You notice it engages in different positions for your liking. One thing I'd like to mention with this QR code, it will help you to determine which part number wheel will fit your machine. Jim's got spreadsheets with all the measurements and part numbers so you'll have a perfect fit for your machine.
Let's give this thing a test drive. I got a piece of scrap aluminum here. Quarter inch drill bit. In closing, my initial thoughts on this is pretty good. It feels good in the hand. You have a lot of control when drilling. You have the spoke here if you really need to bear down on something. The molded polyurethane is resistant to oil and grease. Uh, I think it was well thought out. Of course, I'll report back after using this for some time. My initial thoughts are, I believe Tangent Engineering has a pretty nice product here. So, so far, it gets a raised garage stamp of approval and a big thumbs up. The quill wheel is $150. This includes free shipping to the lower 48 states. Get you one.